न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब डेटोनेट ऑन इंडिया उसका नाम भारत है तो दुनिया में कहीं भी जाएगा तो वो भारत ही रहना चाहिए तो हम बोलने में लिखने में सर्वत्र भारत कहे भारत यूज ट्रिगर्स शॉक एंड ओ कल मान लीजिए इस इंडिया अलायंस ने अपना नाम बदल के भारत रख लिया तो फिर भारत भी बदल देंगे फिर क्या भारत का नाम बीजेपी रखेंगे अब इंडिया नाम लेने में भी कतरा रहे हैं प्रधानमंत्री जी विदेश जाइएगा तो आपको लोग यही बुलाएंगे कि प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया वी डी कोड एंड डाइसेक्ट भारत न्यूज इंडिया रीनेम्ड और भारत रिवाइव हमारा ये देश भारत था भारत है और भारत रहेगा भारत हमारी परिचय है उनको आपत्ति क्यों होनी चाहिए तो ये तो कोई असंवैधानिक कार्य नहीं है फुल क्लैरिटी ओनली ऑन इंडिया टुडे शिव स्पेक भारत एफ ए क्यू ओनली ऑन फाइव लाइव So is India being renamed Bharat is this a storm in a teacup are these political mind games is the government messing with the opposition alliance what's going on because it's a serious thing that we're talking about here renaming a country is not is not a small thing it's a big thing it would change a lot of things what would go into it how does it affect your life is it really happening how can the government go about doing it is this all about elections so many questions so few answers but i promise by the end of five life you're going to have answers to all of those questions that's my guarantee i'm shiv these are the headlines india accesses g20 dinner invite that says president of bharat india to be called republic of bharat soon that's the buzz but i'm going to bust it as udayanidhi stalin remains defiant over sanatan dharm remarks bjp compares him to hitler 262 eminent personalities write to the chief justice of india against udayanidhi urging the supreme court to take cognizance against his remark big buzz over women's reservation in special parliament session after vice president jagdeep dhankar's comment says day is not far when women will get their due representation in the country's legislatures two days before summit covid scare for the g20 in delhi us first lady jill biden test positive for covid us president biden tests negative team india squad for one day world cup out kl rahul back in the one day squad for the world cup retains the same team from the asia cup friends i'm going to start by just going out there and saying i don't think india is being renamed bharat frankly ever since india today broke the story earlier today i've received an absolute torrent a flood of whatsapp messages and on social media from friends and relatives asking whether bharat is going to be the new official name for india now i'm going to go out on a limb and tell you what we know and what i think is going to happen the trigger for today's big headline is the president's invitation for a g20 dinner where republic of bharat or president of bharat is written instead of president of india that is what has set the cat among the pigeons and blown up into this big firestorm of a headline later on this show i'll be answering the frequently asked questions on constitutionality legality etc but i wanted to start by saying the reason i don't think india is being renamed bharat is that it doesn't even need to be by now that page from the constitution must have already gone viral the first line of article 1 of the constitution says india that is bharat shall be a union of states let me read that out again india that is bharat shall be a union of states which means there's nothing to rename is there india and bharat both coexist in the foundational document of our republic 
So what is this whole headline about? What's all the fuss about? Why is everyone getting so tense and angry and anxious? Why so many jagras happening in the political sphere? Will there be something more than just the use of Bharat instead of India on an invitation card for the high-profile G20 dinner at Rashtrapati Bhavan? Personally, I doubt it. Because like I said, there's nothing to rename. What is there to rename if Bharat already exists in the constitution alongside India? The word Bharat has been used interchangeably with India for as long as anyone can remember. Think about it. It's in our national anthem. It's in our battle cries, Bharat Mata Ki Jai. It's in the name of even Rahul Gandhi's Yatra, the Bharat Jodo Yatra. It isn't separate from India. It's the same thing. So then why is everyone so hecked up? Why does everyone have their blood up over this particular invitation ever since it broke? Now, we in the media, and I especially, must take some of the blame for that because we've been playing it up. We've been saying... Bharat has been used instead of India in the president's invitation for the G20 dinner, so there must be something up. But my personal view is, I think there may be a little bit more to it. Couldn't it just be an effort to popular, popularize the use of the word Bharat, which for this government, the Modi government, is very much in line with its established track record of downplaying or removing colonial vestiges, amplifying India's civilizational roots, and generally playing up the, well, uh, Bharatiyata of a nation that has obviously changed. Well, this being a noisy democracy with a vibrant opposition, I'm not surprised that people see sinister designs in the sudden prominence being given to Bharat, coming as it does just days after the opposition umbrella gave itself the acronym India. The suggestion is that even the country's name has become a political football, which is ironic because those taking on the name of India are triggered by the word Bharat. Those who've used the word Bharat are getting triggered by the use of that word now in an official invitation. Now, if all of this were true, if the country's name is indeed becoming a political hot potato, that would just be very, very sad. Because the irony, like I said, is everything I've just said could be totally irrelevant. Because, like I said at the start, India isn't likely to be changed to Bharat simply because it doesn't have to be. Now I want to ask and repeat some of the big questions I've been getting from many of my followers on social media, many of my friends and relatives on WhatsApp. These are the questions that I've filtered down into the six that most people are asking once they see this story which is being plastered all over the media. Number one, has the government made an announcement on using Bharat instead of India. Number two, does the Modi government plan to rename, officially rename India and call it Bharat from here on? Question number three, what does the Indian constitution say about this? I've given you a hint just now, but I'll tell you a little bit more uh, in the minutes ahead. What does the Indian constitution say about India and Bharat? Question number four, why is Bharat suddenly popping up in the presidential invitations for the G20. It hasn't been used before. We've never seen President of Bharat before. So why suddenly now? What's with the timing? What's the intent? Number five, will India and Bharat now be used interchangeably? How does that work in official documentation, etc.? Number six, is this, and uh, this is probably the most common question I've uh, been asked, uh, and it's been asked in far less a polite way than this, but is this going to turn your life upside down? People are literally reaching out to me and asking whether a change in the country's name will mean new documents, new passport, and you know a, a plethora of other things that will need to be changed if India becomes Bharat. Well, I am here to completely reassure you all. I've told you, I've set the tone for this show to tell you there's no need for panic because nothing of the kind is happening. The only heat that you're going to see in this particular battlefield is the war of words that has escalated and been triggered by this one invitation between the government, which has not made any official communication, any official statement. The only thing, literally the only thing we have to work on right now is that invitation from the Rashtrapati Bhavan. But that doesn't mean a political fight hasn't already broken out. Watch this report. We, the people of India, 
and India that is Bharat. That's how the constitution describes the country. On Tuesday, a presidential invitation for a G20 dinner had the Republic of Bharat instead of the customary Republic of India printed on the surface in public domain. Earlier on September 2, the RSS chief in a speech at Guwahati proposed the name Bharat should be prioritized over India in common parlance. Uska naam Bharat hai, to dunya mein kahi bhi jayega to wo Bharat hi rehna chahiye. To hum bolne mein, likhne mein sarvatra Bharat kahe. Kisi ko samajne mein nahi aaya, chinta na kare. Usko zarur achay to wo samaj lega. Hamko zarurat nahi hai, sabko samjane ki. Clamor within the ruling dispensation has grown to drop India from the country's name and start calling the nation Bharat. Pura desh aaj chata hai. Bharat ka naam dasi hojar saal se mein kaya raha hoon Bharat hai. Is liye ye Bharat rehna chahiye. Vishu ke andar koi desh aisa nahi hai jis ke do naam ho. Dunia ke andar Bharat ek mat aisa desh hai jis ke do naam hai. Desh ke adhikaan shloon ki bhaavana hai. के देश का नाम केवल भारत होना चाहिए और इंडिया पूरी तरीके से प्राणहीन है भारत पूरी तरीके से जीवंत है दिस काइंड ऑफ नेम चेंजिंग हाउएवर रिक्वायर्स अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट अ प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्विंग बोथ द लोकसभा एंड द राज्यसभा टू हैव टू थर्ड्स ऑफ मेंबर्स प्रेजेंट एंड इन फेवर टू पास द प्रपोज मॉडिफिकेशन फॉलोड बाय रेटिफिकेशन बाय स्टेट्स Sources, however, indicate the government may at least bring in a resolution to rename India as Bharat during the parliament's special session scheduled from the September 18th to the 22nd. Opposition parties have been swift to take a jab at the proposed name change exercise, insisting it was driven out of fear of Alliance's India nomenclature. Kisi पार्टियों का अलायंस इंडिया बन जाता है तो वो देश का नाम बदल देंगे देश तो 140 करोड़ लोगों का है किसी एक पार्टी का देश थोड़ी है कल मान लीजिए इस इंडिया अलायंस ने अपना नाम बदल के भारत रख लिया तो फिर भारत भी बदल देंगे फिर क्या भारत का नाम बीजेपी रखेंगे सीम्स दैट आफ्टर द इंडिया अलायंस हैज बीन कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड द बीजेपी हैव स्टार्टेड टू डेवलप एन इल विल एंड सेंस ऑफ हेट्रेड टूवर्ड्स द नेम ऑफ इंडिया Bihar's Deputy Chief Minister Tejasvi Yadav, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee and NCP Chief Sharad Pawar mounted a synchronized attack on the BJP government at the centre for the name change proposal. Namkaran jo gadbandhan kya hua hai isse itne ye log dade hue hain ki naam jo hai badal rahe hain. Batai, ab India naam lene mein bhi katra aa rahe hain. Kis baat ka dar hai bhai? इंडिया नाम नाम सारा विश्व चेने हटात एम की हलो आज के देश नाम चेन्ज हो जाए कब कवि ठाकुर नाम चेन्ज हो जाए विश्वविद्यालय सब नाम चेन्ज कर दीचे बड़ बड़ ऐतिहासिक सौध तर नाम चेन्ज कर दीचे इतिहास के परिवर्तन कर दीचे द इंडिया वार्स भारत डिबेट रेज ऑन and it's likely to intensify further in the run up to parliament's upcoming session bureau report india today so let's get you some clarity from the finest group of reporters out there who've broken this story and are also now dissecting it faq question number 1 has the modi government made an announcement on using Bharat instead of India. Joining me live, Mosmi Singh uh, and Polami Saha for more on this. Uh, Polami, can you help us answer this question for our viewers? We've got the Rashtrapati Bhavan invitation. You know, we've got the RSS chief talking about it. We've got a whole galaxy of politicians, including Hemanta Biswa Sarma, etc., all, you know, making political comments about it. But is there anything official about it yet?
No, there is nothing official that the government has announced at the moment. The government hmm. is only, of course, when we spoke to, for instance, the Minister of, for, uh, of State for External Affairs and Culture, Minakshi Lekhi as well. She said that it only shows the invitation that has gone out from Rashtrapati Bhavan. It only shows that we're, uh, you know, going back uh, to our, into our heritage, into our history, into our legacy, and are calling ourselves what we've always known ourselves to be. It's only reclaiming some of hmm. our lost history. It doesn't mean one is replacing the other in any fashion at least that has not been officially announced by the government of india at the moment of course there have been a lot of statements that have been uh, you know referred to uh, because of the opposition uh, you know uh, you know uh, basically saying that this is a, a government which is fearful of the india alliance and its name uh, there are statements of course uh, the prime minister yeah. has spoken about sharing colonial baggage in the past mohan bhagwat statement from 3 days ago is being referred to as well but the government's response is so what's so disconcerting about that Okay, very interesting. So it's uh, no official, uh, you know, announcement has been made by the government. Mosmi, anything you're picking up in this regard? You know, is this a storm in a teacup? Because the government has made no announcement yet. You know, I think this is uh, in queue with all the uh, speculations that are rife, uh, Shiv, as far as the upcoming special session of the parliament is concerned and uh, you know uh, they may say that there is no smoke without fire but there mm. is no fire in this case uh, yeah. clearly you know this is more of a political uh, slug fest that has uh, erupted and more to fan this fire and add fuel to the fire is the opposition is itself because it was jairam ramesh in the beginning uh, in the morning who raked up this entire controversy mm. uh, by tweeting it out that uh, perhaps uh, uh, India that was Bharat uh, and he put out that tweet with the uh, with the mention of the invite so I think this is more about you know keeping India uh, as far as the alliance is concerned keeping the discourse uh, alive and it suits both sides in the run-up yeah. to the 2024 elections very very interesting stay with me Polami and uh, Mosmi now I want to go to Bharat FAQ Number two, the question number two that I've been getting since the story broke on India today is, okay, no official announcement by the government so far, but does the government plan to make an official announcement or is there something in the works? Is there some plan to rename India to Bharat? Polomi, a lot of speculation about the special session of parliament that, you know, some kind of resolution, etc. may be passed. We don't know. Is there something afoot? Well, uh, Shiv, uh, you know, we've been trying to speak to our sources uh, across uh, the political circles, especially, of course, in government itself, to understand if uh, there is a resolution. While no one is officially confirming it, one of the things, uh, you know, refrains that I picked up from someone I was speaking to um, is very interesting. He referred to the fact that on September 18, 1949, the Constituent mm. Assembly, when it was debating the draft constitution at that point of time, and specifically Article 1, and there were many who stood up like H.V. Kamath and others, who uh, ob uh, objected to the reference uh, of India, that is Bharat, said, you know, you'll have to say Bharat, that is also known in English as India, yeah. or Bharat Varsh, or Hind. All of these uh, debates happened, these possible amendments were moved, but then finally the motion was adopted as it had been uh, drafted by Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, which is India, that is Bharat. The date, hmm. September 18, 1947. When does the government call for the special session of parliament? September 18, 2023. So that has, of course, set off a lot of discussion as to whether the special session is about reclaiming history. Okay, the, 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 the dates have added a tantalizing angle and element to the whole uh, this, this storm of speculation. Uh, I'm going to come, uh, Polami and, uh, and uh, uh, Mosmi are going to stay with me when I uh, go, go back to them in a couple of questions from now. But question number three, FAQ question number three now is, uh, you know, a more theoretical question, which is how can the name of a country be changed? How can the name of our country be changed? You know, what does the... Uh, uh, what you know? What is the Indian? What is the actual procedure for this kind of thing? Now, Article One of the Constitution will have to be amended. The Centre will have to bring in a bill in Parliament. Article Three Sixty Eight, which allows for a cons the Constitution to be 
uh, amended either through a simple majority that's over 50 percent uh, members or a special majority amendment that is 66 members article 1 which is where it says india that is bharat will have to be amended by a special majority of not less than two-thirds of members present and voting in the house so it's a complicated procedure the constitution will have to be amended and remember the constitution article 1 the first line of it says india that is bharat so both india and bharat both exist there now what does the co indian constitution say what does the indian constitution say about uh, uh, you know india uh, and bharat let's let, let's tell you india that is bharat shall be a union of states is the first line of article 1 of the constitution as you can see in that line both india and bharat both are there in that same line that's the first line article 1 says precisely that now let's go to question number 4 of our faq on bharat why is bharat suddenly popping up now in official invitations mosmi i want to come to you now because this has become you know more of a political story than anything else even though citizens across the board are very curious and they've been you know asking questions i'm sure you've been getting questions from your friends and relatives also ki uh, you know uh, you know is it really going to change etc but the the question of why is bharat suddenly popping up in invitations uh, political you know political mind games being played Absolutely, Shiv. You know, uh, often we talk about the divide between uh, India and Bharat, the ever-widening gap between India and Bharat, and Bharat being represented uh, by the rural part uh, of India. Mm. Uh, and the, but that is in um, in normal normal discourse, you know. And even when this term uh, for the India Alliance was being coined, that we need to choose India and we can have every letter representing something uh, there was discussion should we have a hindi slogan to it should it be bharat uh, and therefore this was more acceptable across mm. from north to south to the southern parties that it should be termed as india and mm. in fact the the battle will then be between india versus modi so somewhere you know there was this thing that you were taking adopting the name of the country and how would prime minister narin modi fight the nation but they were conscious of that fact that BJP might try to play into the fact that it is India and Bharat and that's why you know they ad adopted this slogan uh, Judega Bharat Jitega India so hmm. somewhere you know they expect that the BJP's line of attack is very clear and defined and they will try to in fact wedge uh, bridge that gap in fact right. uh, the opposition members but as you said this is more of a political pot boiler that either sides want to keep stirring so you know because uh, is 2024 politically speaking being crafted as an india versus bharat kind of battle uh, is 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 what mosami suggests and that's something that the india alliance has clearly foreseen with uh, judega judega bharat jitega india being their tagline Question number five in our FAQ today, uh, to try and settle all your doubts, is will India and Bharat be used uh, interchangeably? Now, this is, a, this is a bit of a rhetorical question, Polomi, coming to you on that, uh, because, because India and Bharat have actually, uh, you know, been used interchangeably for a long time, haven't they? Including in official documentation. In Hindi, it is Bharat. Bharat has been used interchangeably with India for a very long time. Of course, going into the specifics of things like President of India, etc., you know, uh, there are questions. That's the reason why it's become a headline. But the interchangeability of India and Bharat has existed, hasn't it, Polobi? It has, of course, existed for a very, very long time now. Uh, it's in the Constitution. It's in Article 1, India, that is Bharat. And hence, uh, we've used it interchangeably, uh, as Mamta Banerjee was trying to put it very simplistically, that we've always referred to ourselves as people of Bharat Vash. Uh, we are citizens yeah. of uh, Bharat. But when it comes to India, that's obviously uh, the English language term that we've used globally as well. So we've used it interchangeably. But what the BJP is thinking on this is simply that you give one precedence 
over the other. So even globally mm. and internationally, we do want to be known by what is our historic name, what is yes. actually the name from our ancestors who, uh, you know, perceived this nation the way they wanted uh, to uh, uh, call it. They wanted to call it Bharat. It's in our Vedic scriptures. Uh, it's in our mythology. It goes back many, many years. Again, the reference India, it's not British colonialist. It is, uh, there are references uh, made by the Greeks as well. There are references made uh, by the Turks as well. But again, all on the lines, uh, lines of uh, Inde, Indi, all of uh, these are uh, terminologies that have, uh, you know, come from Europe as far as uh, reference to our nation is concerned. What the BJP is simply saying is that we want to give one precedence over the other. So we refer to ourselves as Bharat. The world can refer to us interchangeably, but yes. we should be able to proudly call ourselves Bharat Vasis. Very, very interesting. I want to uh, stay with me, uh, both Polomi and Mosmi. I want to, I want to just, uh, you know, bring up some information now about how the name uh, of our country actually came about. Let's just give you some perspective about India and Bharat. The date, September 18th, 1949. And as you heard Polomi saying, that has become a trigger as well because the special session of parliament also begins on September the 18th. That was September 18th, 1949 is when the Constituent Assembly deliberated upon the Namkaran of India, the naming of India, which was freshly independent. Suggestions at that time had included Bharat, Hindustan, Hind, Bharat, Bhumi, Bharat, Varsh and Bharat. The Constituent Assembly resolved that Article 1, India, that is Bharat, shall be a union of states. So it was September the 18th, 1949 that the name India, that is Bharat, was enshrined in our constitution, in, in our constitution. Your obvious next question will be, what happened in the constituent assembly? The process by which India and Bharat became our official names. The first article was read out as, India, that is Bharat, shall be a union of states, like I just said. Hari Vishnu Kamat of the forward block, politician of that time suggested, Bharat or in the English language India shall be such and such. That was the line that was proposed by him. Seth Govindas representing the central provinces and Berar proposed Bharat known as India also in foreign countries. Very interesting. Hargovind Pant, well-known politician representing the United Provinces said, as far as India is concerned, this name was given to our country by foreigners. If we cling to the word India, it would only show that we are not ashamed of having this insulting word which has been imposed on us by alien rulers. This was the constituent assembly of the time. And as you can see, this was a fledgling democracy with vibrant, noisy voices making angry opinions felt. At the end of the day, what was decided? India, that is Bharat, is a union of states. Now... I want to flash forward now. I've taken you in a flashback to 1949. Now I want to bring you to 2016 because India and Bharat did come up in India's top court, the Supreme Court. In 2016, Bharat or India? Here's what the Supreme Court had said. You want to call it Bharat? Go right ahead. Someone wants to call it India? Let them call it India, said Justice Thakur of the Supreme Court. In 2020, the Supreme Court said, Bharat and India are both names given in the Constitution. India is already called Bharat in the Constitution. At that time, the Chief Justice of India was S.A. Bobde. So, the Supreme Court on 2016 and 2020, both times said, India and Bharat can both be used. Use whatever you want because they're both literally in the Constitution. Now... Final question, and this is something that a lot of people have reached out to me asking, which is that, do I need to be prepared as a citizen? Do I need to gird my loins and, uh, you know, wonder whether a decision to either rename or something like that is going to up upturn my life? Is my life going to turn upside down? Will I need to re-register for new documents? Will I have to, uh, you know, expect... Uh, a completely new set of identification cards, etc., etc., in keeping with the change of a country's name. So a lot of people are anxious about this, uh, and I want to, I want to get, I want to get one, you know, one answer from both our reporters on that. Polomi, to you first. It may be a little early. We don't know what's going to happen in Parliament. The 18th September angle does provide a, uh, you know, a quite a, 
uh, a trigger point for many, especially after, after we've mentioned it today. But most people are wondering, is this going to affect my life? Is this going to turn my life upside down if the name of the country changes? What about my passport? What about my IDs? What about my bank account, etc., etc.? Uh, is there any wisdom you can, or light you can throw on that, Polomi? Well, uh, if this means that documentation uh, has to be changed, like, uh, for instance, you know, passport gets uh, changed, etc., then obviously it's going to throw life a little off gear because you'll have to go ahead and make that change. But I don't yeah. think so. The government, of course, uh, is planning to, you know, upend everyone's uh, lives at the moment. The government mm. is only merely, uh, you know, saying that this is what needs to be said in the Constitution. We need to ensure that, you know, people refer to themselves as Bharat because we need to be proud of who our ancestors called us and not about, uh, you know, whether outsiders are called us one or the other. And that is what uh, the government wants to focus on. And at the moment, it is an idea which they've mooted in small ways. For instance, they're hosting the top 20 leaders of the world at the G20 yeah. Leaders Summit this weekend at the Bharat Mandapam. The government is very clear that they want to send out a message that we're extremely proud of our legacy and our history. And we refer to ourselves as Bharat. How far they're going to take this, there's only something which will, of course, uh, you know, uh, take place quite literally on paper over yeah. a period of time, nothing that's going to throw your life out of gear immediately. Okay, that's good to hear. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Mosmi and Polomi, appreciate it. Thanks for joining me on this live show to help uh, answer those questions, bust some of those myths. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of misinformation and fake news doing the rounds as well. Very, very useful. And I'll be sure that a copy of this show goes into all the WhatsApp groups today where people have been asking the very same questions that you both have so kindly and uh, brilliantly answered. Thank you very much to Polomi and Mosmi. India Today News Director... Rahul Kaval spoke to Swaminathan Gurumurthy, the editor of the Tamil political weekly magazine Tughlaq. He's also a well-known uh, ideologue of the RSS. On this ongoing India versus Bharat storm, and he has a very sharp view on this whole thing. Watch this exclusive excerpt. I want to ask you, Guru Murthy ji, about the idea, philosophically, of wanting to change the name of India officially to Bharat. You're in uh, Chennai, it used to be called Madras, Calcutta before this uh, had its name changed uh, to Kolkata, Bombay to Mumbai. Why do you think this is the right time and the right opportunity for India to be officially renamed only Bharat? See, India was wrongly named as India. It was originally Bharat. If you take all the 18 Puranas, you take Bhagavata Purana, you take Mahabharata, whether they actually happened or not, they were all written and the entire geography of the country had been described. The people had been described, their culture had been described and they had been designated as Bharatiyas. It is called Bharata Varsha. So, this name should have been there in the constitution, but it became an alternative name. I don't know for what. For whatever the founders of uh, the constitution felt, they put it. But we have amended the constitution over 100 times for right and wrong reasons. I am not questioning the wisdom of the people who framed the original constitution. Also, people who amended it, because this amendment is a contextual necessity. The amendments which uh, took place in 1970s uh, became abhorrent in 1990s. So, all this keep happening. But the name Bharat is not a new name. It is in the constitution already. India, that is Bharat. That is, Bharat is the real name. India is the name by which it is known elsewhere in the world. In those days, to bring Bharat and to make it popular would take maybe several years. That is why they probably allowed the word India to continue. They also understood Bharat is the real name. But to make the world understand that India has become, that what is known as India, it will now be known as Bharat. It would have taken several years those days. And that is why probably they allowed the 
uh, name India to continue. But at this moment, think our country is known as is India internationally as well. Article 1 of the Constitution says India, that is Bharat, shall be a union of states. So Bharat is mentioned as one of the two names of our country. Why is the RSS and the government of the view that we should snap away from the past where India has been called India and now switch entirely to Bharat, which is one of the two names our country already has, Guru Murthy Ji? You see, you will ask the RSS about the view of the RSS. You keep describing as the ideologue of RSS. But RSS doesn't call me its ideologue. You must understand that. And I don't speak for the BJP. The BJP will speak for itself. Sure, sure. What I can say is, whether it is done by the BJP or any, any other party, this is the right thing to do. And that the BJP happened to do it doesn't make it wrong. If the Congress has done it, I would have welcomed it. After all, the original framers of the Constitution did retain the word Bharat because that is the original name. India is the popular name, at, was the popular name at that time. Today, you can make the whole world understand that India will henceforth be known as Bharat in one minute. So the things have changed, the communications have changed. And Peking began Beijing. It happens. Every country, it comes to realize its own civilizational underpinning and begins to, uh, uh, Madras state became Tamil Nadu. There is nothing wrong about it. Because it is nearer to people's sentiments. That is how I will look at it. And everything ultimately gets rooted in politics. There is, a, there is an action and reaction in politics. But I am only interested in seeing whether what is done is right or not. Whether the purpose for which it is done is something different according to me. You mentioned whether the that politics bad, behind that this be move, Guru Murthy Ji. Some of those who are watching at this moment will allege that because the opposition alliance came up with the acronym India, I.N.D.I.A, therefore the government in a reflex reaction to counter the opposition has come up with this move because so far there was no public move to try and change the name of the country from India to Bharat. Uh, the opposition will select, suggest because the name that they came up with is India, which is why now the BJP, the RSS, the government and proponents like you think this is a great idea. Before this, it wasn't on the plates. How do you respond to this, Guru Murthy ji? No, actually, don't include me, club me with it. They may have their own ideas. But I have been of the view for a long time. It has nothing to do with this. One. Number two, that India, this, this, this actually, India is a name which, they, uh, which the oppos opposition appropriated because it is only India Alliance. It is not India Alliance. Understand that. They also have begun playing with words. What is the need to have an India Alliance today? India has been there for 75 years. And ruling party and opposition have been there for so long. Because you are using the word India itself is political. So the other party is doing some other political act. It is not that what you are doing is genuine and what others are doing or the BJP is doing is wrong. You look at it from a neutral position. Both are political. Using the word India is also political. And countering it by promoting Bharatiya is also political. What is wrong about it? Both are playing politics. Udayanidhi Stalin continues to be defiant three days after he called for the eradication of Sanatana Dharma like dengue and malaria mosquitoes. There have been protests in different parts of the country. Members of the India Alliance have stepped forward as well with cursory words of condemnation, not quite putting Udayanidhi Stalin in his place. The question now is, is this entire controversy simply going to blow over? Or could there be real trouble for Udayanidhi Stalin? Watch. Storm over Udayanidhi Stalin's anti sanatan remark comparing Hinduism with Dengue and Malaria. Selavatra is the name of 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 the name
ஒழித்து கட்ட வேண்டும் But the Tamil Nadu minister is still defiant, going further and pleading that he'll keep attacking Sanatan till it's fully eradicated. Our very little da, Ambedkar, either kind of poor, Santa Panare, Peria, other kind of poor another, Kalinga, other kind of poor another, Inamala Terasri, other kind of poor another, Ramude Talever, Indore Poradic undergrad, the Sanatan, a court party, Wurikum, the Ravam Nita Karakam Poradic Kundaran Yirkum. The India bloc, which was silent for days, finally started to speak on Stalin Jr. I am also a Sanatan Dharam. I am also a Sanatan Dharam. You also have a Sanatan Dharam. I think we should be able to do the same thing. We should be able to say the same thing. We should be able to say the same thing. We should be able to say the same thing. We should be able to say the same thing. We should be able to say the same thing. Instead of saying condemn, my humble request to everybody, that we should not comment anything which may hurt the major section or the small section of the people. We have to remember unity and diversity. But the Congress is still a divided house. While Sonia and Rahul are silent, the official stand of the party is unclear. Some of its netas are openly backing what Udenidi said. The dignity of a human being, it preaches equality and it preaches about equal uh, social and economic uh, rights. And that's all I stand for. So it does not matter to me what anybody is saying, anybody is uh, thinking. The BJP is going all guns blazing against Udenidi, comparing his anti-Hindu tirade to Hitler's genocide of Jews. <laughs> आपने विराशत खड़ा की है बॉम्बे के मीटिंग के बाद और कोई गलत फाहमी में ना रहे चाहे अस्टालिन का बेटा हो चाहे लालू जी हो हिंदू इसका जवाब देगा हिंदू इसका प्रतिकार करेगा तो ये सब ये टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग के समर्थक लोग हैं यही इनका मूल दबा छुपा हुआ हिडन एजेंडा है उस एजेंडे की तरफ ही ये धीरे धीरे बढ़ रहे हैं और सनातन को खंडित करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं। बीजेपी वर्कर्स स्टेज प्रोटेस्ट्स फॉर सेकंड स्ट्रेट डे क्वेश्चनिंग इंडिया ब्लॉक्स सॉफ्ट अप्रोच टू उदयनिधि हेट स्पीच 262 हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी टू प्रोमिनेंट सिटीजन शॉर्ट लेटर टू चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया सीकिंग एक्शन पोलमी साहा स्पीकिंग टू हिमंत बिस्व शर्मा ऑन द भारत हेडलाइन लेट्स गुरु to respond to what the Congress objected to today after the invitation from the Rashtrapati Bhavan went out which said that the President of the Republic of Bharat welcomes the delegates for the gala dinner. What is your objection to what the Congress has said? The Congress says you're distorting history. We've always been India, that is Bharat, as enshrined in Article 1 of the Constitution. I think for me, it is Congress who is trying to destroy the legacy and our history. Our country was known as Bharat, except the brief period, and it is Bharat, and it will be Bharat. Our constitution has also clarified India, at that point of time British call India, that is Bharat. So Bharat is the core name which constitution has given to us. So would you then support the idea that we completely reclaim the name of our nation as Bharat? We do away with India. I think... It, the name Bharat is ensigned in our constitution. Article 2 has clarified that whatever you call India, that is actually Bharat. Mm -hmm. So that name is there. So you don't have to redraft the constitution. You have to don't say anything. Just you have to come out from the mindset of colonial legacy. Start yourself as a Bharat, as a Bharatiya. We put our country's name in our Twitter only as Bharat. Right. Our party is also Bharatiya Janata Party. Just you have to change your mindset that you, you, you are no longer under British administration. So you have started using your own name. Because in, in many parts of in Assam, the tea garden name British has given slightly differently because they could not pronounce Assamese name. But the name remains same. So the Bharat remains same only because Britishers referred it as a India or some 
foreigners used to refer it as a India. But the name Bharat is there from 5,000 years ago. They are saying we are not denying the legacy as well. We call ourselves and refer to our yatra as Bharat Jodo Yatra. No, and we say Jodega Bharat Jitega India. Aap Jodega Bharat Jitega India, aap aisa cross kiyo ho gaya. Aap bolo na Jodega Bharat Jitega Bharat. What is your fantasy with the name which is not originated from the soil of the land? Hamara hi haa to English but sikha nahi jata tha. To aap thik hai. Whenever you go to America, you refer that I came from India. That's fine. But jab ghar, ghar ka andar hi, aap ghar ka naam hi bolo na. So you're saying globally it's fine to continue to referring to ourselves as Indians I, from India? I am, I am not saying that India, you, I am not denouncing the word India. I said the core name, India, that is Bharat. Your name from 5,000 years ago is Bharat. Your name today is your Bharat and it will continue to be Bharat. But you have another name called India that is there in the constitution, but your core name is Bharat. So you should try to say or you should try to understand, identify yourself as a Bharatiya or Bharat. And if somebody do, could not recognize you immediately when you say Bharat, you say I'm all, that's the country called India. Okay. That's fine, but you must reuse, use, Every time from morning to evening, you should say Bharat, Bharat, Bharat. And the politics and the push over Bharat and India is going to continue. Himanta Baswa Sarma there exclusively on India Today, perhaps the most vocal voice on this issue following India Today's news break. Thanks for watching Five Live. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time.